All right, hello, my fellow investor, CT Intelligent Investor here. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about GameStop, AMC, and Churchill Capital. Now, before we start the video, guys, use the link in the description down below to sign up with Acorns. Once you sign up with Acorns, you're going to get a chance to win a free stock, and that stock is Chevron. Now, you, all you have to do is sign up, um, let me know, and then you'll be entered a chance to win this stock. I'll be doing it two weeks from now. Now, once we also hit 7,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing another stock giveaway, and that's going to be a stock of Apple. So, also, um, the stock giveaway that I did on this previous one will be announced tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I already have the video recorded. I already know the winners, so I just have to edit it and post it tomorrow. So, that's it. Let's start with the video. So, starting off, we're going to be talking about... God, why is this getting stuck here? We're going to talk about GameStop. You know, as you see, GameStop had a good little recovery, which is good for all of us. Um, I did get to average down back at 40, so now my average is at 47.12. Now, um, if this stock goes up, I mean, I'm still going to keep it. I'm still going to hope it actually squeezes up a bit. Can it squeeze heavily? No, I don't think it could hit back to 500. I honestly don't think so. I feel like Citadel and Apex are already in it. Um, the only reason the stock is actually moving up right now is because they're under investigation by the SEC and it's being public, so they can't really hide too much. But if the, if the situation happens where the stock has to be heavily squeezed and the stock can blow up, they're going to control the volume. They're not going to let it happen because they don't want their friends and the hedge funds to lose a lot of money. They're still losing money. They will lose money, but they don't want them to go bankrupt. So just letting you know from that. So GameStop is looking a little healthy right now. It looks like it's going towards a good run. It might go up a bit more and then pull back a bit and then slowly start going up. It might take a few months, maybe a year, but it should gain some traction. We don't know. It could probably go back to 100, 150, maybe 200. We don't know. We have to see how it all plays out. Um, so these hearings are actually going to be very useful in due time. Now, AMC, as you see, AMC is also recovering. If you guys actually listened to those people that were saying, no, sell it, it's going to collapse, it's a dumb stock, it's a dumb crap stock, you know, now you see that the stock is slowly moving up and slowly recovering. Theaters are going to start opening up back in New York and other places in the U.S. And once that starts happening, it's going to gain more traction, it's going to gain more profits, and these corporations are going to be doing a bit better, which means the stock is going to go up a bit more. Right now, it's attracting more investors. So as you see, the volume has actually stayed pretty low here. Um, actually, pretty high. It's been low in um, GameStop compared. So as you see, AMC volume is pretty high. So it's been getting a lot of attraction. So that's one thing I want you guys to pay attention to. It's going to recover and be well. Okay, so AMC's potential now is between $20 to $30. Now, depending... The merger is actually gaining traction. Um, Amazon is actually looking like the most likely to actually purchase AMC. And if that happens, they can actually shoot up to about $30. Um, if Netflix purchases them, then they can actually hit up about $40. If um, Disney is the one who purchases them, then they can be a $50 plus stock. Now, this does not include the stock squeezing or any of those. Stuff. It just includes the stock being the stock, you know, the company itself, just because of the news. So this stock has so much potential right now, even though it's still shorted heavily, and a lot of people are holding it. 90% of people are holding this stock. So once it gains more traction, more demand, this stock can easily blow up quickly. That's something you do have to have in mind. It just has so, so much potential right now. AMC, I feel like it has more potential at this price than GameStop just because of that. So the last one I want to talk about is Churchill Capital. As you see, and I told you guys, a lot of people were talking smack about me, telling me I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know, you know, all this crap. I said Lucid Motors and, and um, Churchill haven't really talked about a negotiation yet. Now that today... They announced that the merger deal is happening. The stock collapsed. Okay, it started out at 62 and now it's at $39. After hours, you guys cannot trade the stock. So this stock has heavily dropped when you cannot sell. 
So can the stock go back up? Yes, it can. But as you see right now, it's been down about $20 from its initial profitable price. It's been heavily, heavily down. And this is what I was telling you guys. Be careful because it's a huge, huge risk when you invest into stocks that go just by pure emotion. Um, and that's just one thing that I wanted to show you guys and tell you guys that this is something heavy. It's something you guys have to always constantly be aware about. It's something you guys can control. If you guys bought at $60, $62 today, then as you see the price right now, you're down $20 plus dollars, okay, per share. And that's a heavy, heavy loss. So always be aware, always be safe, and always know what you're investing into, guys. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys liked the video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And I will see you guys next time. So peace out.